Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to give you some ideas how to use the multi-lap view in my telemetry tool to spot areas which require some focus or, or training in, in your driving. Uh, and this example is I, in, I've driven in, in Bahrain this short track, just some, I think it was a 26 lap race, so you can see this is the fastest lap. But then we go to the multi-lap view, which is a new thing, as you can see here, multi-lap telemetry. And then we can load the laps of this. Uh, as we can see with the new multi-lap, you can select many laps which you can load. And I'm just loading all these laps in one go. So we can just a little bit dive in. I'm taking some of these things off. And, and this is the what you will get when you load some uh, multi multiple laps into the multi-lap view. You can see on the right hand side below here, you have all the laps. And the thing is that uh, there are some options like uh, you can also set if you want to see the pit laps or the first lap and you can see it's automatically hides pit lap and also the first lap because normally with Formula 1 before the race the first lap is not that interesting the other laps might be more of, 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 of interest for driving so this is the view you will get with the multi-lap and I'm now using only here the uh, speed trace uh, steering trace throttle and, and brake and you can see that well, there are areas where we could just first dive in but I think it might be easiest is, is to look at the speed so you can see the speed trace few laps they, they are of course lap the sort of adjustment you might be overtaking someone or breaking a little bit bad but if you look at the speed trace it's quite okay here at the start of the track a little bit shaky there might be I don't know what happened here but maybe I did a spin or something and then but then you can see that here when you get to the turn five so this is the uh, left hander after the uh, DRS straight and you can see that there's already here the speed uh, trace is getting wider there's some odd things and then turn six and seven there's most likely a little bit slipping here and there everything and this is the area you can already here see that there's some odd things going on here and then we still look at the other traces so everything else is quite okay but this is the area clearly this is the area where there's something odd going on same if you look at the steering uh, trace you can see it's quite quite stable a little bit shaky shaky but okay but then when you get again to the turn five <laughs> there's a huge area that's it's all over the place the steering so clearly I haven't driven enough of that turn with these cars to really know what's the right spot to turn and how to turn then you can see there's a little bit shaky shaky so most likely spinning uh, out of the turn six and same in the turn seven days uh, the kind of spot to turn is is for me a clearly an area to focus and then rest is quite okay and then also when we look at this the throttle you can see that this is so that's the thing now we clearly know that this is the sort of area where we need to focus this is the turn five six and seven in in Bahrain that's for me the place where I know that I really need to focus first on braking getting the braking to happen at the same point also same being able to follow the uh, line and let's see okay we can also jump into the map view and, and then we can see when I, we are dry, dry, uh, zooming into the map you can see driving is the lines are all over the place for me and that's very easy to look at for other places few overshots here but there's and that's where you sort of when you have the multi-lap you can also look at your driving lines this is maybe a place where I, I overtook someone someone just and but this is a good way of seeing also how consistent is your driving sort of when you're driving around the track and then you compare that with the multi-lap view and then you can be you will be able to sort of see what's going on and where you really need to focus and that's the way I've done I that's the thing I will do next is focusing on on this area of of this track and that's it's very easy and handy way of quickly when you're done the race to see where was your sort of bad areas and then you can focus on them on your training and and try to get faster and better on that so I hope you enjoyed on this and Let's see if I can get something else later for you. Thanks. Bye.